Waiting you wear they really the matter. As king Pekin, you supposed to dress like one. Hi guys, welcome to Favors Blog, your one-stop channel for amazing entertainment like no other. Trust me, you're gonna enjoy your time here. To be part of this amazing family, please follow us on all our social media accounts displayed on your screen right now. And do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So you're one of the first persons to get notified whenever we drop any new video. Also, do not forget to like our videos and of course share them across your social media handles so that your friends and family would also be part of this amazing family here on Favors Blog. Now let's dive right in. So what we have. I welcome you to Open Heaven for today, Wednesday, 8th of March, 2023. Our topic for today say, what do you wear the matter? Our Bible reading, it will come from the book of Matthew chapter 22 from verse 9 to 13. And our memory verse, they come from Zechariah chapter 3 verse 4. We tell us, say, he can't tell the people where he stand before us, say, come out that dirty cloth from me, buddy. He can't tell us, say, see, I don't cause your sin to come out from here, and I will wear you new cloth. Make we enter the message for today. Wait till you wear, they really the matter. And even though God talk for inside 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7, say, if they look your heart, if they also true, say, now wait till they inside your heart, then they reflect for your outside. When I go see the way some of our sisters for street that they dress, it's supposed to be different from the way God picking the dress. I would like to make my point. For my Bible college students one day, I can't buy two orange of the same size. One are yellow, one are green. I can't stand before the class. I caught it and say, may they point the one where they would like to eat. All of them choose the yellow one because according to them, now that one ripe, so it's supposed sweet. I call as they say, I will not say no, say this one is sweet. They call say, the outside, the show. That one at the point when I try to make here. Wait till you wear, they really the matter. For inside Matthew chapter 22, from verse 1 to 14, one king, they walk out through the crowd of the guests. For inside, he saw a wedding. He could see one man when not wear better clothes on the wedding. Now, say, so they drive the man come over the place. One day, they follow one of my relatives where they always address the people of the world. I call the teller saying, You belong to a special family. The enemies, they, they look us. If they want attack, they go look for persons where they are among us, but where they different from us. And now you be the only person where they stand out. If they decide to attack now, they go find it easy to pick you. Now that day, now that person might change. Pata pata. I also want to make you remember the story of blind Bartimaeus for inside Mark chapter 10 from verse 46 to 52. When they tell us, say, Jesus, they call you. The first thing when you do not to throw away a cloth when you wear. What thing he mean by that be saying, I don't go ever dress like beggar again because I don't go beg again. I don't go go into sorrow again. I don't go day inside darkness again. Now so the thing even be for us too. When you give your life to Jesus Christ, not only your heart supposed to change, even your clothes supposed to stay change. For inside Mark chapter 5, from verse 25 to 34, the woman with the issue of blood said, If her feet just touched the bottom of his cloth, the cloth where Jesus they wear, now channel where we say anointed they hid the woman. Even Acts of Apostles chapter 19, verse 11 to 12, tell us, say, and Kashif and April, when they come up from Apostle Paul body, they cause healings and deliverance. This one I to tell you, say, your dressing, it is very important and it's supposed to be glorify God every time. Our key point for today to say, the spirit of Christ within inside of you, supposed to show even for the way where you dress. Now, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, will be the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Now, he writes this Open Heavens Daily Devotional. God bless you.